Morning everyone. Bright and early, like I always am. Now we're going to the scrapyard today. We've got two IBC pods on the back of the trailer here. Um, as you see, she's pretty, pretty cool this morning. Uh, I think this one here weighs about 400 and something like kilos. This one's about the same, so we should not be overweight with the trailer. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, we've also got some batteries in here as well. They're down there on the floor and a microwave there full of screws and God knows what. Um, so yeah, might have to do all the batteries on there first before we get those off. Um, also on the vehicle, we've got a small IBC pod cut in half sort of thing. Another one there. That one there, I know it's 550 kilos. So I thought I'd put the heaviest one up the front. Keep it on the steer part of it. In front of the front of the tyre. Um, on the opposite side we have, I'm not just taking in pressing steel today, we've got a bit of dirty stainless. I forget what they call that. Uh, I've also got batteries under here, That'll, they'll go with those batteries. Um, in this one is domestic aluminium and extruded in that one there, in, that, in those wheelie bins. So let's get to the scrapyard, find out how much we'll get to today, what our weight will be, whether we do go overweight. You want to put a guess on how much we may be in total, just the scrap steel, and um, we'll see how much we're actually going to weigh. Some um, circuit boards beside me too on the on the seat. I'm going to check out another scrapyard. So I better just park here, find out where they want me. So I probably want to take the batteries off and the extruded first. So I'll go and find that out before I do anything. Probably have to back in the in the shop there. So I'll go and find out. Hope I'm not blocking anyone. Probably is. Anyway. Oh. Well, we're not backing in, we're unloading right here. Oh, I've always seemed to park in the right spot. Now, I'm going to try and fork these off. I won't lift it off myself. Oh, struth. Yes, I'm still recovering from the hand too. So, oh, i still got three good fingers on the hand. Whoa, that's not even latched on. What happened there? Get up the back. Get up the back. I cut my finger. Here, here you go. Bit of a story. Wet day. No. Cut my finger on those things. Nasty. Oh, it was hooked on. There we go. I want it up here anyway. Gotta go this way. Go that way. Bit of trickery here. Hook it into that. Hook that into that. Make a noose. Well, it's not a noose. It's basically a, uh, so they can lift it up. That's as far as I can go on that one. Yeah, sweet as, bro. Oh, I didn't realise it was like that. It's true to light. But you can see what I'm doing. Yep. So you can put the thing straight through, yep. your forks, and lift them both off. So how many stitches did you get? I don't know, mate. I honestly don't know. I didn't see it. I come out of recovery, I thought, well, Geez, that was quick. <laughs> you know, you just never know what's going to happen. Oh, fuck, it would have hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> it didn't actually hurt. I just don't like the side of my own blood. 
you know, you think, well, because I've cut that finger open before with a grinder. Yeah. Grinder wheel went right through it. Oh, this side's all right. I can, I can hook that one because of the hooks on it. Yeah. See? Um, but, um, yeah, buddy, it, it even, like, my left hand one many years ago, being a grinder wheel, it went through onto the next finger too, into yeah, there. It's kicked in. Well, no, it just shattered. The whole wheel shattered. Yeah, yeah so I was lucky. But at that time, you know, that's going back a fair while. Yeah. I was using the wrong size blade on the grinder. Uh, no guard. Yeah, no guard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, doing stupid things I shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just hold those up like that. Yep, but I'll... And then all you, you got to do is hook them in. That way I'm not getting my fingers in the hooks, in, in your fork. So you can see that one all right, Kenny, the blue one? Yeah. Sweet. Get the good end there. I won't have ends in. Ah, oh, well. You got them. Up you go. All yours. I'll hop out of the road. Up. Keep going up. You got it, mate. Piece of cake and take it straight in, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Or you want to put the stainless on, like I suggested. Now we've got it undone. Here we go. Grab the non sharp bit. Oh yeah, we'll stagger them across. Got that one. Less trips the better. And that's it for that. Hopefully I won't fall. Well, <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see, that's it. Where is Jeff today? Ah, uh, he's in a meeting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the big in town, so. Oh, yeah. I'll go and see what this weighs. My high loads. Damn, that's higher than me. I can't even reach the top. <laughs> anyway, I sort of behave myself on heights. <laughs> he's got to bring me up, I think. Yeah, he hasn't been in here yet. Or has he? Has he been in here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, pop it down there, mate. I don't even know whether you've gone into the computer yet. Just leave it at that height. I'll do the first. Yeah. What's up there ready. Oh, you got it all ready, have you? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I'm efficient. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I didn't know whether you had or hadn't. I should be wearing my glove. Well, glove. <laughs> but though Jeff did say I'm pretty organised though. Yeah, that's it. Uh, no. That's oh, I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> I'll take it off his hands, I'll take it home. <laughs> I'll strip it out. <laughs> I'll take it home. Yeah, you want it, you can have it. Yeah, I'll... It still works. Oh, I'll drop it off there, I'll take it home. Okay. I'm not worried if they don't work. Yeah, it works, it just doesn't wash very well. It's a yeah. little old. Yeah, no, I'll, I can take it home. Yeah, yeah right, we'll just chuck it on the ground there. And then yeah, I'll... yeah, well, I can throw it in the trial later. Yeah. This stainless off. I upgraded the gloves. Cover the arms. Bit of safety for the old hands, I reckon. In that second last one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So we just got the new magnets and spoiled. Oh, okay. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, they're crafty. Because you can change them around. Yeah. You don't have to ride on the thing. Ah, uh, that's extruded. 
Yeah, you can have a look. See if I'm right. I'll get it on. There's about 60 odd kilos. With my body weight on there, it's more. I'll see if my I'll be able to see if my oh. my scales are right. Yeah, oh well if you want to get on there, you're heavier than me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I made sure. The wife the bosses are here, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. You gotta do that. Cause it's all on camera, mate. You gotta do it. Rules and regulations. Yeah, it price two dollars fifty a kilo. Not bad, not bad. I think that weighed out the same, and then it's fifteen kilos for the brin. Yeah. I think. So well, I haven't teared this one out. We should be able to lift this one. Where are we going with that? Ah, uh, this way. And you know how we had um, domestic aluminium wire before? Yep. I've put it in that bin. Okay, yep. Because it goes in with domestic aluminium anyway, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Right, yeah, you? yeah. No, I'm just going to grab the wheel, mate. So I said, it's still got one good end. There you go. <laughs> I can't lift that high. You're taller than me. Fingers are out of the road. We'll weigh it anyway because it may be a bit different. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to do it anyway. Here, 13. Wow. Lighter plastic. There we go. And that's domestic. I'll leave these in here actually. And I'll come back for them. No way they're out of the road. Look good for you. I, I started putting these in as domestic because yeah. they're aerosol, they're in aerosol cans and stuff. Yeah, I so, thought yeah, it, domestic for us alleys like tanks. And yeah, 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 yeah. So, I yeah. started doing that for that instead of crushing them up. They're yeah. too hard to crush. No one there yet. Um, Forty kilos on that. Dollar ninety a kilo. Dumb. Yeah, I can see where that is. <laughs> Not hard. I think that rear. I think that's about right. I, I think I measured mine out because mine goes in the half intervals. Yeah. My scales, so they'd be about right. Yeah, this one's only kilos. So. Yep. Oh, we go. Do you get many people organised as much as what I am? There's a couple. Oh, okay. Like Tumut. Geez, he's coming a long way. Tumut? Yeah, he um, always does his, like, he does all the radiators and all that. He oh, yeah? Aircon, so yeah, yeah. Well, you've got to be organised, haven't you? Yeah. When you're coming from a distance. Yep. Oh, there we go. Right, we're running out. Get, you, do you want to, yeah. As I said, I'm leaving these in here. Yep. And if you want to grab that plastic pallet you got down there, Maybe just long, big enough for those. Because we've got them in the trailer as well as on the back. Yeah, that'd be big enough. I've got one of those at home and, and it fit the whole bottom. Me tail board. So I can get these batteries out. Oh, it's not gonna open. It's stuck. Stuck big time. Why is he not getting that plastic one? Mustn't be. Must be getting a wooden one. Come on.
Here we go. Sit that up there for now. What's he doing? Yeah, he got it. You want to start the trailer first? Keep coming, and but go down, 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 and we'll butt them up. Butt it up to the tile board. Oh, yeah. Keep coming, keep coming. That'll do you. Save lifting. Slide them on. Cause that's the only way I put them in here, slid them in there. Only enough room for one. I'll bring them to there for you, how's that? Jump over. Freaking hell. Oh, not good on the crutch that. You got those? Yep. Now move that out of your road. Batteries are on 69 cents a kilo still? No, they're down to 600 or 60 cents. Ah, yeah, so it's going down 9 cents. Yeah. Yep. Because I had to buy these ones. <laughs> Leave that open. Down so it don't fall off. Hello. Put the little ones up top. I'm not doing too bad with a crippled hand, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I've still got three, hand, three fingers. I can still grab things. Yeah, we've got a big one there, haven't we? No, we haven't. We've got the two big ones on there. Big truck batteries. The other one? Sorry, mate. That, good. You thought I was grabbing it, didn't you? And then the rest is all steel. Oh, the rest is all steel, so I've just got to go on the way bridge. You mean to do that? Yeah. Yeah, if you want to head over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm only going to drive up that way. The wrong way. <laughs> go and see what that weighs. Look, we'll go this way. Yeah, I told you I wasn't overweight. 4.3. All right, I'll get out near the other, eh? Yep, that Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe if you want to just park where you just were. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm not fast. It's up to you, mate, you know? Uh, You're going to... Yeah, maybe go out where you need to go. Yeah, because it's, it's dry on that side, and that, these ones are going that way, um, and we'll be able to fork this one out a bit. Halfway and yep. then get a second grab. Yep, yep. Cool Instead way. of trying to, because that's what Jeff like done last time. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I brought two over last time. Yep. That's good. Yeah, so that one's loose. Gotta be careful and not get this bandage dirty.
Oh, you want a hand? Down. Go in there. And as you go and go in and go down and tilt back at the same time. There you go up there, otherwise you collect the other one. Where's he going with it? Oh, he's going up there. <laughs> I get this glove on. Don't want to cut my fingers. Ooh, boat? An aluminium boat? <laughs> yeah, but... Has it got any holes in it? Oh, I don't think so. That'd be a good one for you, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you're into the fishing, Has it got a buddy VIN number on it? No, I can't see it. It's usually on the seats. There's none. Should be a three meter. No, it looks like 3.2. Oh well, they didn't want it. I don't want it, I got one. Get these other two untied. Yeah, that'll sit there. I know I'm going to put this. See, we're going to load that washing machine. Straight in, straight in. I'll tell you how close you are to the tailboard. Yeah, yeah. Over this way a bit. Yeah, you got it. Keep coming in, you got about oh, 40 centimetres, uh, 30 centimetres. Yeah, oh, you can keep going in. Uh, yeah, yeah you, to the tailboard, I'm talking about for here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, side shift it. Keep going, 10 centimetres. That's 100 mil, four inches. You're not catching on nothing. Yeah, give it another grab. You dra you're not dragging it. Go in there. Oh, I know where you, yeah, 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 your forks are not uh, rotated properly. <laughs> I had a look at that, they're not level. Need a little spirit level on there. <laughs> just as a, just as a guide, you know. Pretty light this one. Here, go up there. You're right through anyway. Leave that one hooked up. Go the other side.
だよねマイクシーデイジーデイジーポッドテイヤーノーアームマッスルズなのとエシアンロードメンズもねとボーナスボーナスフォーミーおまえび。これは私たちのポイヤー。Put that down or put that in it? Put that down or put that in it? Yeah, put it in the IBC. Hello? Down? Because I'll drag it off and we'll put it in. Go back a bit. And then just lift back. I'm not worried how it comes out. Done, it's loaded. <laughs> oh, he must have just, oh well. Yeah, put them back the way they were. Don't have to fuss about it then. I haven't got my blocks for going on the ute anyway, so yep. that's why I thought of that one way. It's a split decision, mate. It's all good. Straight in there, you got it. That way you can load that one straight back on the trailer. Plonk it down there and we'll push it in with this one. Down, further down, tilt back, tilt back, tilt back, tilt back, that's it. Down a bit. Go in there. You're in. That'll do. Those other two are untied. Yeah. Head tilt back. No, usually you got to spread and go one fork and outside and then squeeze a little bit. Ah, uh, yep. So, fork. So, sp spread your forks. Then side shift it this way if you can. Oh, you're too far spread. Close it up a bit. Go in, I'll guide you in. Close your forks more. Leave your wheel straight, you're good. Close your forks. Go in there, should be good there, and go down. That's it, you're, you're spot on. Just tilt back. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. When you get it down, you can reposition. Yeah, yeah just give it a small squeeze. You've got it there, keep going up. Go up a little bit and squeeze. That's got it. The front one's 550 kilos. Yeah. I weighed that one. I didn't weigh this one. I got them. I'll grab that other range so it doesn't fall off. You're through. This is good, not busy. No tear-assing around here. 
and take that washing machine home. Apparently it works, but um, I don't fix those ones up. I'd rather just strip them out and get the copper out. Those ones there sometimes have the aluminium wiring in. So, uh, they'll make money off it. He hasn't had, he didn't get paid for it. Which is a bonus in some ways. We've got, um, it'd be nice if they could hold me washing machines for me. <laughs> well, do a deal. Do a big deal. Now, I'm not tying them in, I don't need to. Grab our straps. It's fully encaged. We're all fueled up. I only spent about $70 on fuel. It's not too bad. Let's get over here and go home. Pretty damn good. But these are the circuit boards I've got to go and check out on because they don't take them here. Got me lunch ready. Where's he gone? Oh, better help him out. Go down. In there, whoop. Rotate a little bit. Whoop, whoop. Because of the trays coming up, you see. All right, go in. Go in, go in. Now go up. Go up and squeeze. I welded that one. <laughs> you can squeeze more. That's got it. That's got it. Yeah, mate. And I'll get rid of that bed frame for you. Too far, mate. Go back. <laughs> I was right. Burton's, Burton's is in the wrong spot. See how good we are, eh? Don't want to get dirty though. Oh well. Oh, he's got the trial of here. Spin round. We should make that. No problems. Use the good arm. this one on go and tear out just put him straight on I see that every day seagulls not sea not seagulls they're bad bloody big seagulls um, pelicans <laughs> yeah I see that every day I'll see Lake Talbot's not far away yeah <laughs> I'll give that a spin up there. Yeah, that's a daily occurrence for me. Yeah, I'm right on the lake. I've got that million dollar view all the time, mate. Yeah. <laughs> keep going, keep going. She good. Go down if you can. That's it, now go out. Tie this down and I'll get on the bridge. Can't see what we weigh. So I told it to go right around. Thought I'd better do the same. Oh, grab me phone for a second. I want to see something. They can wait. 
I won't be long. I've got to get my fat ass off here. <laughs> yeah, I seen you talking about going around. I thought I'd better do the right thing. Yeah, it's usually around, it's about 20 kilos more. Oh, go away. I'll call you back, Doug. Yeah, I'll call you back, mate. Well, that wasn't too bad of a day out. We came home with a washing machine. Wasn't expecting to be picking one up, but that's the way it works. Well, I will be stripping that one out and um, getting all the copper, take it all back. I'm not worried whether it works. It looked a bit old to be restoring and that sort of thing. So I'll just pull it apart, get the copper out, get all the wire out and all that sort of thing. And any cast aluminium, we'll do that with that as well. So anyway, we'll get down to the formalities and what we got, how much it all weighed um, and all of that. So we took in stainless steel, ironing solid, that's the dirty stainless, 27 kilos, 97 cents a kilo. Uh, we came out, focus, 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 for $26.19. Uh, what have we got next? Extruded aluminium, 43 kilos, $2.50 a kilo, $107.50, uh, $25 kilos of domestic aluminium, $1.90 a kilo. Now, it's subject to prices to do change. Uh, $47.50 for that. So, your extruder is definitely a better price. Uh, batteries, we took in 427... I didn't think it was that much. Uh, 60 mm. cents a kilo. was 69 cents a kilo when I last took it in, batteries in. We had to pay for those batteries, but we've definitely come out with a profit on that anyway. Uh, so, we got $256.20... I think I only paid 150 bucks, so we still come out and good good in that. Uh, all of our pressing steel, uh, we took in 1.320 kgs, which is a ton and oh, I don't know what you'd say that. One thousand, yeah, it's 1,320 kilos, 28 and a half cents a kilo. Now we do get a waste duty on that. We came home with 376 dollars 20 on that. So total weight of what we took in. 1,842 kilos. So in total of total costs of what we got was $763.43. So plus the GST and all that sort of thing, that gets added in as well. The waste levy is $50.16. $50 so they're not bad prices. I don't mind having to pay the waste levy. Our next run will probably be doing circuit boards touch wood um, now we may even take a bit extra like uh, cast alloy we're getting a fair bit of that we might take it over in say a wheelie bin or something like that so we're not taking big IBC pods and things like that so I'm getting a dirty look over here <laughs> <laughs> because because our next trip over that way would be when June goes and gets her eyes done. She was saying, "Why don't we take all the circuit boards that we've got?" Just a circuit board, nothing she was else. And just the circuit boards. But I'm thinking, why just take circuit boards? We've got a full empty Ute. We'll be taking a different car. Won't be taking the white Ute. I thought, well, we might squeeze a bin or two in. We'll see what happens. But anyway, um, if you've come this far in the video, everyone, and you, you like the content, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, and if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So till next time, everyone, happy enough stoking, happy scrapping, stay safe out in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.